Hello and welcome back. So the much anticipated news is finally here. The US Federal Reserve has finally made the rate hike, the much anticipated one. It has made the biggest rate hike since 1994. Why am I saying it's anticipated? The reason is given US inflation. US is uh, facing huge inflation. This, it's around 8.6%. So obviously, a rate hike was inevitable and the Fed has just come up with a big rate hike. In fact, the rate hike that the Fed has come up with, it's much more than the anticipated rate hike that, that uh, analysts and experts around the world had thought of. Let me explain to you in detail about this. Okay, so this is the news that has been covered by across all news outlets around the world that Fed has increased its rate hike. It is the biggest hike since 1994. Um, it has increased interest rate by 0.75 percentage point. So what does this mean? Let me explain to you in detail. Okay, so these are the specific details. First up, the current, this is the current, okay, the current Federal Reserve interest rate is around 0.75 to 1%. Okay, so Federal, Fed, Federal Reserve gives a range of the interest rate, the Fed rate uh, or the Fed fund rate. It's right now at 0.75 to 1%. This was the current. Now, yesterday night, uh, Fed has hiked its interest rate by 75 basis point. What is 75 basis point? 75 basis point means nothing but 0.75%. Okay, see, one basis point is 0.01%. That means 75 basis point is 0.75%. Okay, now, when 0.75% has been increased, that means what? 0.75 plus 0.75% here plus this you add up and this 1% you add up another 0.75 here. So finally, right now, after this rate hike, uh, the new interest rate, the new Federal Reserve interest rates will be 1.5 to 1.75%. Nothing. This has been increased by 0.75. So it's 1.5. And this has been, this 1% has been increased by 0.75. So it's 1.75%. Okay. So after this rate hike, the current interest rate rate that Federal Reserve has decided will be in the range of 1.5% to 1.75%. Now this rate hike of 75 basis point, it is the biggest since 1994, almost in three decades, this is the biggest. Okay. And there are good reasons for it. I'll explain to you further. One more thing that the Fed has said is that it has significantly cut its uh, outlook for 2022 economic growth. That is GDP growth outlook has been cut. It was previously told to be around 2.8 percent um, uh, in March. Right now, Fed is saying that they anticipate GDP growth in US to be around 1.7 percent. Mind you, this is GDP growth of USA. Okay. Now, this is estimated uh, revised estimate. Okay, so this is a specific detail about the Fed's announcement. One more thing that, that the Fed has said is that, that they think that recession may not come. However, unemployment, unemployment is going to have a huge rise in USA. Unemployment. Uh, right now, it is around 3.6% levels. Uh, this is going to go enormously in the next couple of years in US. Okay, so this is the specific details about the announcement that the Fed has made yesterday. Now, the question you might be thinking, why is this uh, rate hike? Why is this rate hike so high? And why was this so anticipated? If you remember, I just said that this was a much anticipated move. There's just one primary reason for it. And this is about inflation, inflation in the US. Right now, it is around 8.6%. You know what? US targeted inflation rate is 2%. This is the target inflation of USA. Targeted inflation. This is the inflation that US Fed targets for. And right now it is at 8.6%. Can you imagine the growth that it has had? And since it is so high, since the, uh, the present inflation rate is so high above the target inflation rate, that's why the rate high also had to be a drastic one and that's why you see a tremendous uh, growth hike of 0.75 percent this is not usual this is extremely un extremely unusual but again when you have an inflation to be so high you need to take such drastic steps 
okay so the fed has committed that they will bring back inflation to the targeted rate of two percent and this is just the beginning of the rate hikes uh, of the rate hikes that we have that you see uh, right now to be around one point uh, to be around 1.5 to 1.75 percent many analysts are thinking or uh, are and estimating that by the end of the year the rates would go well above three percent okay so more rate hikes are going to come from the fed and all of this is just to tame inflation this is just to tame inflation okay now this is the reason for the rate hike now one very important question that you have in your mind is or you will have in your mind is what are the implications for india okay so inflation is in us fine fed has increased interest rate for us fine they want to tame inflation for us that's fine but the question is how do we in india get affected by it the answer is we in india get affected by it quite drastically let me explain first weakening rupee now this is the most important thing already you see the dollar has strengthened now see whenever fed increases interest rate investors around the world investors around the world they start investing in u.s treasury bonds u.s treasury bonds investors around the world they start investing in u.s treasury bonds why because when they invest in the u.s treasury bonds they invest in dollars and dollar is a safe haven that is a very safe uh, investment for them even if the interest rate is slightly lower but it's a safe haven so whenever the fed hikes interest rate investors want more return for their money as a result they start investing in u.s treasury bonds and when they invest in treasury bonds dollar demand goes up because you have to invest in dollars so the demand for dollar goes up and when the demand for dollar goes up all other local currencies all other local currencies of all other countries in respect to dollars they go down similarly you see that's why you see the rupee weakening you will see japanese yen weakening you will see all other countries their currencies weakening against the dollar so that is the first implication next implication is sell off by foreign industry exactly what i told just now since the us has increased its rate US, since the US fund rate has increased, investors will now invest in US treasury bonds to get higher yields and as a result, they will be selling off in the domestic market. The domestic market will see a sell off. In fact, if you see just in the month of June, less than 14 days, Indian market has seen a sell off of 14,000 crores. 14,000 crores have been sold off in the Indian market just in the 14 days of June okay now this rate hike ideally should have had an impact on the indian market today but the indian markets have been going up the reason is this rate hike was anticipated so this has already been factored in in the indian stock market what i mean by this is that foreign investors already knew that the fed is going to increase the rate they just did not know by how much but they knew that the fed was going to increase interest rate because the inflation was so high so that's why they already sold off their uh, uh, stocks in the Indian markets and in all other markets as well. And they already parked them in the US market because an interest rate hike was inevitable. So they wanted to get maximum benefits from it. Okay. So that thing has been factored in uh, already in the Indian market that's selling off by foreign investors uh due to the rate hike in us okay so that is the second implication and the final one is the import and inflation now you see since the rupee is weakened now all the imports that we get okay all the imports that you get and where you have to pay in dollars since the dollar has strengthened we need to pay more in rupees right we need to pay more for the yeah, inflation also oil oil prices crude oil right it is already crude brent crude already is trading around 120 dollars per barrel okay so we and with the dollar strengthening to for to for this 120 dollars we need to pay more rupee now because our rupee is weakened so obviously this will bring in inflation all the imported things that you're getting they they will increase in price so we will have imported inflation okay so i hope you understood the implication that we will have in india because of the rate hike in us first is the weakening rupee that you're already seeing sell off by foreign investor that has already been factored in the indian market that was the reason why you see the indian markets have been falling for so long and finally the import inflation because dollar is strengthened we need to pay more in rupee to get the same amount of things that we are importing right so it's important inflation so these are the implications 
for India. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you understood why the Fed increased its rate and also the implications that India has as a result of this decision. Thank you so much.